What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Why are you crying? You got another one of those? No, just this one. I wasn't expecting company. Right. I'm sure you weren't. Hey, listen, about earlier today, I know you were just trying to be a friend. I'm sorry I cut you oh, off. Oh, God, get over yourself, Brian. I'm not crying over you. Okay, that's over for two today. I'm gonna go enjoy this someplace else. Brian, wait. Don't go. Please. I didn't mean to snap at you. I'm just... The day didn't turn out the way I'd hoped either. I can relate. No, you can't. <laughs> Mine's a joke compared to what you've been through. I'm just being pathetic, really. Tell me what happened. What did you... Overexpose the film, forget to take your lens cap off? What? Today's my birthday. I'm not one single person remembered. Why didn't you tell me it was your birthday earlier at BJ's or at RCW this morning? You mean like be my own PR person? How pitiful is that? Well, how pitiful is sitting on a dock in the dark feeling sorry for yourself? Gee, thanks for pointing that out. I feel so much better now. I'm sorry. I was just surprised, you know. What about your parents? What about your folks? If they remember to glance at their appointment book, they may notice, but then again, since I haven't heard from them, I don't think they even bothered to do that. Well, San Diego's three hours behind us, right? And you've been running around like a maniac working all day. I'm sure they tried, and they couldn't get in touch with you. I bet if you check your voicemail, there's going to be a message. And they're going to be singing happy birthday to you. Go ahead. Uh, Use my phone. Check it. Go ahead. <clears throat> well? It's my mother. You see? Call her. Call her back. Hi, Mom. It's me. I got your message. Uh-huh. Well, I, I work on a style show, Mom. I can't embarrass myself. I'll, ri I'll write it off. Um, or you can. You know, you're good at that. Nothing. Um, Mom? I, uh, I gotta go. Now, just leave my credit statement where it is, okay? Bye. She got my credit card statement. I hope your calling plan has an unlimited long distance. That the call was a waste. I'm sorry. Oh, it's no life. problem. It's no problem. I mean, my mother sees it. If I get older, she gets older. So we're both ageless. Ageless. <laughs> Neat, huh? Come on, Greenwood. Why don't you just tell me what you're really feeling, please? About your birthday, about your... Parents ignoring you, no walls, no glib comments. Why bother? Because I want to see who you really are, not who you're trying to be. Can you do that? Personality does not need dissecting, especially today. I'm fine with who I am and who I want to be. That's why you're crying? I was in poor me mode. It's momentary indulgence. I'm over it now. Okay, if that's the way you want to play it. You sound like you care. What's the deal? My parents didn't exactly put my needs first either. I don't mean to be uh, disrespectful, Ryan, but my parents weren't exactly abusive. They reserved their fun exclusively for each other. You mean your parents don't like each other? It was love at first sight for Mary and Roger, and it has been ever since. Mutual adoration. They're hopelessly obsessed with each other. Wow. My parents hated each other. Hated their kids. So I guess your folks set the bar pretty high, huh? Finding true love at a glance. I don't want to replicate my parents' life. But you do want to get married, right? Sure I do. And I even want children one day. But I won't do to them what my parents did to me. I hate you seeing me like this. You never have to worry about being real with me. 
You mean you like me crying all the time? I mean, I like you. You. Not when you're trying to be anything or anybody else. I've told you that before. Listen to me. Man. If you ever want to tell me to shut up, just feel free. Go ahead. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because of what I did today. Making a fool of myself, busting into Jillian's wedding at last minute. You know, I actually thought that if she saw me there, she'd call the whole thing off. But after I saw the look on her face, I couldn't have been more wrong. Brian told me that he loved me, that I was the only woman that could ever make him feel that way. And I gave him everything, everything, and then he just trashed it all. We were together at the Crystal Ball. No, this was last night. Ryan made love to me till dawn, and then out of nowhere, he told me it was over. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I am so sorry, Ryan. Thank you, Greenlee. You're coming with me. I'm going to round up some friends, and you're going to hear a chorus of happy birthday before this day's over. What friends, Ryan? Good point. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to have to suffer through a solo rendition. All right? 